I bet so look this is day four bruh day four of the Halloween marathon now look I'm not gonna lie bro the past three videos that I done did I've been going out sad bro I've been folding in front of this camera because of these videos I'm going out bad so you know what we gonna do this is gonna be a try not to get scared right here bro I ain't about to flinch I ain't gonna cover my eyes I ain't turning away I don't know why I just said that, bro. I'm going to fuck around and turn away. But listen, the challenge is to try not to get scared. So we're going to do that real life scary videos that will have you leave you shaking. God damn, bro. And I remember watching Chills too. All right, bro. We're going to see. A synagogue in Ukraine captured something minutes. absolutely doing creepy and minutes, mysterious. Bro. A brilliant ball of light floating ominously near the synagogue wall. The authentic video shows the ball of light floating down to hover, swaying back and forth slightly in one place. It stays there for a moment, glowing its mystery until it flies upward again, disappearing forevermore. The ball of light isn't a perfectly circular orb. In fact, it looks almost gelatinous as its shape changes slightly in its hovering with protuberances bulging slightly here and there. So what is this light? What could it be? Scientists are baffled and can't seem to find any explanation for it, leaving explanations up to popular opinion. These opinions range from a lightning ball to a reflection of infrared light to someone's very soul. Jewish people were ordered to gather here before they were sent off to camps in WW2, so the possibility of it being someone's soul looks promising. I wouldn't be surprised if souls abounded here. The truth is, we'll likely never know what was the source of this light, and we probably weren't meant to know. Whoever shot this footage clay- Oh fuck. You see, that wasn't bad right there. Please, come on. Keep him, keep him coming with videos like that. Please, bro. I cannot fail this back challenge, in 2008. They Oh my god, bro. No, 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 no. Please, bro. Please. Please let this be the day where I don't fold, bro. Come on. Fuck. Don't be no bitch, bro. Come on. Come on. Let this shit play. Let this shit play. Day four, bro. It's meant to know. Whoever shot this footage oh, claims to have fuck. been filming back in 2008. They were exploring an abandoned house and decided to start filming after hearing a strange noise. It's a very short clip since it wasn't long before they were running out of the house screaming. Reviewing the footage again, you can clearly see that this is not an ordinary forest creature. Its front legs bend inwards as it runs, kind of like a human Yo, running bro, on all- imagine opening the door to anything and seeing some shit like that crawling at you, bruh. Nigga, I'll turn on the kitchen lights and see roaches or some shit, nigga. I, I'm in the battlefield, bruh. I'm taking off my slipper. I'm in the battlefield, bruh. I'm going to war up in there. I be walking outside in the street, you know, I live in New York, bro, so you won't see the rats. You gonna see the rats. Late at night, walking the a rat just run across you with some shit, yo, bro. Hell no, bro, I don't play with shit like this, bro. You see, the only reason why I've been folding in these videos is because I, I I just don't play with shit like this, bro. I don't play with shit like this, bro. All fours. Only it thing I like about much of October face, is yet the it can fold. somehow make a terrifying scream. The humanoid appears to be ready for the cameraman shit, as soon as he opens the door. It approaches aggressively, but also with a hint of caution, for it rushes at the cameraman at only half speed. It also doesn't seem to pursue him when he starts running, which means it's probably just claiming its territory and wants to be left alone. The YouTuber who uploaded this video says that this is not their only encounter with the creature. Another time they were exploring the abandoned house with a friend and a knife. They peer into the house from the front with yard. What? Another time they were exploring the abandoned house with a friend and a knife. They peer a knife. The fuck is a knife going to do, bro? You know how close you got to get to even knife some shit? That means you got to like low key touch it. If it ain't a machete, well, you can hit it from, like, some some distance away. Come on, bro. Come on. I ain't touching nothing with a knife, bro. Peer into the That's house from Resident the front yard Evil and shit. listen for any signs of the creature pistol, inside. Bro. They don't hear anything, so they decide to go further in to investigate. That's when they hear Ready its disturbing not, warning cries. I steady the Glock. Red beam on your head like a cherry on top. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What the fuck? 
fuck am I hearing? It sounds like a, a mix pig? between a squealing pig and some sort of enraged dinosaur. The two quickly turn off their flashlights and remain quiet in the dark. Bro, what? Then they slowly get up and start sneaking away, but just when they think they are safe. What the heck is that? Shoot, shoot. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. That ain't count. That ain't count. That ain't count. I ain't lose, bruh. I ain't lose. Hold on, bruh. That shit kicked. Alright, bruh. Bring that back. Bring that back. I can't away, turn away. Just when they bro. think they are safe. The heck is that? Shoot, shoot. Just get out of the house. Get out of the house. <laughs> that nigga played peekaboo. Shoot. <laughs> nigga only showed one eye. That? <laughs> shoot, shoot. Yo, chill, bro, chill, chill. All right, come on, let's get it. These ain't that bad, bro. These ain't that bad. Jesus Christ. They run back full speed to the nearby home. When they review the footage, they vow to go back to the property the next day with guns, but they never got the courage to follow through. Since the monster never chased them in either video, perhaps it was just as uncertain of them as they were of it. While spending the night in an abandoned boarding house, the unthinkable happens. Published by Toppy in May of oh 2022, God, this see, paranormal it'd be the, it'd be the scenery and shit that I, that just gets captured me. whispers on camera asking for help. These whispers are quite faint, but they think it sounds like a woman's voice. Shortly after, they hear footsteps at a distance. In a hallway of the boarding house, the team sets up a stationary camera. Apart from several EVPs, it captures this. A rock is kicked with great force oh, down the length of the hall. Do former pupils still call this boarding house home? And what do they want with the living? Well, in search of the Nigga, ghost. They don't want nothing with the living. Y'all the ones going to it. The fuck? Come on, niggas is just in there chilling. Shit is abandoned for a reason. Leave it alone. Why the fuck do humans always have to go try to see some shit? Try to explore some shit of the headless man youtube team kbc Casadores de fantasmas encounters some unexplained activity as they're touring the haunted area they hear strange sounds like an iron bar hidden <laughs> something Later, while communicating through the spirit box, they see the gate close on its own. Oh shit! Look at them running to it. Look at them running to it. Then down by the water, they spot something unusual. Like, do y'all think these vests and shit is gonna like protect y'all some? Well, on the opposite bank. Come on, bro. We done seen these type of movies and shows, bro. How they play out. Let's go there, Let's go there. She won't catch me out there. I'm Here it is again. Won't catch me out there. I'm what made an appearance on the riverbank? Was it the same entity that opened the gate? I can't be sure, but I am impressed by what the team has captured here. I think it calls for further investigation. A person checks the their CCTV the to catch whoever busted their side view mirror. It's on the sidewalk side, and therefore absolutely couldn't have been oh, a car. Shit. The video does not end at all as expected. When a phantom force snatches the mirror and gives it a twist, then again, maybe a manufacturer's bolt or something came loose here at two seconds. Point is, I've never seen a car mirror do something like this all by itself before. Have you? Yo, why the fuck does this narrator, yo, chills? Aye, bro. You, a warehouse worker. I ain't gonna lie, chills is a, he, he a legend, bro. He a legend. But his voice just makes shit way worse, bro. It's wrapped up in some wires and stumbles. His grip loosens at the scariest moment. And he almost dumps a heavy ladder on the head of a person who is looking down on their phone. 
He doesn't really get out of the way in time, but the ladder turns in midair and thankfully misses him. Ironically, the person was on their phone trying to program the very same security system, which caught his near demise on camera. Oh shit, what Thankfully, Mitt didn't really get out of the way in time, but the ladder turns in midair and thankfully misses him. Ironically, the person was on their phone trying to program the very same security system, oh. which caught his near demise on camera. I'm really glad he's okay because he was not wearing a helmet and would have gotten seriously messed up. This family has been affected by dark magic. Oh, hell no, you see? And the, these are the type of shits that I'll be talking about where I don't want to watch these type of videos because I'll be thinking some shit is going to get attached to me, bro. I'll be dead ass when I say that shit. Come on, bro. What is you for years they believe it's witchcraft because they found unexplained earth crosses and voodoo dolls outside their home this professional has come to release them from the bad energies she starts by doing a ritual don't 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 come over here bro. don't come over here like come on you got the kids up in no, this no, shit, and then the ritual intensifies. No, acá, conmigo. Aquí conmigo. ¿Quién eres? Acá conmigo. Respira. Respira. Estás acá conmigo. Estás aquí. The victim is then released from the ropes. Released from the ropes and what He starts swinging. I dare you to swing. I give you a dollar. Oh. Te voy a cor cortar las ataduras. Te voy a liberar. Oh. Respira. Te voy a liberar. The woman then balances what looks like a glass of milk atop the possessed lady's head. Milk. The woman then balances what looks like a glass of milk atop milk the possessed lady's head. What the fuck is that? Tranquila. Oh shit. Oh shit, nah, that's a candle. Nigga, chill said milk. Nigga, what the fuck? Nigga, that is a candle! Oh shit! She becomes weaker. God damn, her big ass, all that weight on her ankle, bro. That shit gonna break. And it truly looks like something is possessing her. Tranquila. Estamos con this. Whatever is haunting her is hurting her. Oh shit. Chill out, chill out, chill out. Just go, This pair is connected somehow. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what he said? Oh. <laughs> this pair is connected somehow. This pair? Two motherfuckers in that crib is possessed? <laughs> oh hell no bro whoever this Somehow. little girl is oh. that little girl right there to the side if, if that even is like a little <laughs> kid or some shit come on bro they can have a crib oh, bro they can have a crib i'm out oh. i'm out Tranquila. Come on, the two aunties bro Tranquila. The mom and the daughter so i bet you that's the mom and the daughter either that's the mom Respire. and the daughter or they Respire. sisters or some shit Respire. what <laughs> The woman tries to catch her breath calmly. Respire. No que. A ver, a ver, a ver. Acá, arriba conmigo. Aquí. Respire. Respire. Inhale y exhale. Despacito. Inhale y exhale. And then they both appear to be released from the spell. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Aide. Bro, what is that toy, bro? Regresa, 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 regresa. 
Regresa y de... I find this whole ritual intriguing. Not only are the steps involved interesting, but it seems to have worked. But will it last? I guess only time will tell. Poltergeist. Their haunted home had been quiet for weeks. Oh shit. Oh shit. Poltergeist. Their haunted home had been quiet for weeks. But then the YouTube team GND Studios took out the Halloween themed houses called Spooky Town. Once they'd been unpacked, the poltergeist activity in their home ramped up. Okay, toy dinosaur. First off, you got way too much shit. I mean, oh, what the fuck? That First off, you was a little literally too jumped calm. out of her hand, and it does it again. Oh, nah, she ain't do that. Did it slip, or is something fishy going on here? Oh, now you wanna. First off, first off, if I'm holding something, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is that? Listen, if I'm holding something and something just so happened to knock it out my hand twice, come on, bro. That's going to be the sign to run away. Fuck two times. The first time I'm running away. Nigga, you can have a crib. Look at when it is that she decides to run away and go look for somebody. Did it slip? Or is something fishy going on here? When it gets knocked off the fucking table, that's what alerted you, bruh. After that, she gives up. You In another tripping. clip, the poltergeist becomes oh, even whoa, 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 more. Whoa. After that, she gives up. In another clip, the poltergeist becomes even more aggressive. Yeah, let's see the men. Let's see how the men react. <laughs> A few minutes later, oh, this whoa. happens. And then, even oh, stranger. Oh, no. Now that's cat. That gotta be cat. Ain't no way, bruh. You see, because I got a soft spot for the elderly, for real, bro. So when I be seeing, like, older people going through shit, it's like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. What's going on here? It looks 100% paranormal to me. And the first step to calming it is to pack up that Halloween spooky town and light it on fire. Huh? Number 20, a YouTuber named Lightwatch captured this strange sea creature sighting on GoPro. While exploring the beach with his friends, the shapeless yellow creature looks somewhat like a starfish, except it is too light and thin. This thing is paper thin and seems to kick against the tide. The friends are smart enough not to handle the sea creature just in case it has some kind of deep sea toxins waiting to do them in. I have no idea what this weird thing is, but I wonder if it's part of something larger that got devoured. Give me your best guess as to what's been caught on tape. How would you, like, you spend 30 minutes alone is. in an abandoned cartel hotel? This video posted by Southern Afterlife Paranormal TV in January of 2020 puts truth or dare to the test. When Josh and Todd take a half hour to themselves in the abandoned hotel at 3 a.m., the alone challenge saw the two partners split up in the highly graffitied abandoned hotel, terrifying themselves with unsettling noises and even more unsettling feelings. At 2 minutes 13 seconds, a viewer points out that it appears someone is standing in the doorway at the end of the hall. Yup, I see it. I see it. When Josh flashes his light, at around 3 minutes 48 seconds, a scary sound is heard, almost like a cabinet being shut. I don't know what that was. At around 5 minutes 40 Oh hell no bro, upside down cross, you tripping bro. Seconds, Josh finds an upside down cross that's wet. 
He believes from the cold and dampness of the hotel. At around so that's wet. For 14 <laughs> minutes, he believes he smells fresh paint. Maybe some invisible graffiti artist is there to touch up their artwork. Most in the comments agree this place has an awful and uber creepy atmosphere. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, live people could be lurking around any corner. Don't know if I'd want to run into either in this nightmare hotel. When you're searching for ghosts, yo, this nigga chills, bro. Beware, you might just find one. Posted by DNA TV in September of 2019, this video is not for the faint of heart. Oh, fuck, bruh. The description reads Lexi returns with Dave to one of the most haunted and active locations. Oh, shit, I thought that was the ghost looking at me. I've ever visited. From the moment we arrived, things kicked off and didn't stop till we left. To this day, this is some of the most intense paranormal activity we have ever encountered. The gripping 25 minute video oh, fuck, keeps you on the edge fuck. of your seat as the pair explore the abandoned site. They know that the place has been slow. Flashed up and destroyed since they last visited. At the end of the video, they hear some noises that cause them to freeze in place. They decide to go and have a look. Throughout the video, some in the comments note hearing voices of disembodied entities. At one point, they hear a footstep. Using an EVP, they ask the ghost if that was him walking next to Lexi. They get a yes from the ghost. If that was you, can you say yes? What? <laughs> Not as cat. Not as cat. Yes. If you want. Bro, first off, yes. that fucking device says Radio Shack. Nigga, y'all remember Radio Shack? Damn, I remember Radio Shack, bruh. You was not... F bro. what? Hell no, bruh. That's cat, bruh. That's cat. If you want to walk and talk with ghosts, this haunted site is a good place to start. This one's a real head scratcher. This redditor shared this video of a USB cable with a life of its own. Let's take a look. Holy shit, they got Xbox, bruh. They, 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 they. The OP says this is the only this is only the second time this has happened. The first time the OP explained that he was going to record and then it stopped. Let's see it again, slower this time. Many in the comments think this is a fake. They say there is fishing line attached. Probably. Others say it's not being pulled, but pushed. And they think someone or something is hiding near or in the TV stand. Maybe a small child or a cat. The cord is still for about 20 seconds and then becomes active again. Yes. The OP says, what? He says the other end is connected to the Xbox. If you zoom in on the cable, it does look like there's something attached to it about two inches below the head. Wow. Wait, let me see. But you can't see the string, so I'm hesitant to say that's not just a reflection of light on the cord at certain angles. I can't offer a resounding verdict on this one. What do you think it is? Exorcist House. This haunted exorcist house is no joke. The YouTube team, Dark Arts TV, ventures inside this dark place in an attempt to shed light on its truth. Wow, what the? Whoa, whoa, the that. What was it? It's a fucking anomaly just... Yeah, what was that? Did you what? see that just there? Anomaly? It, 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 it went... Like, like, well, I didn't see what they saw. There is a strange shadow anomaly that passes upward as they describe it. Here it is. Slow down. Watch it carefully. Be, 
It doesn't sync with their own movement, so I assume it's not their shadow. Is it a shadow figure? I think it could be. Or maybe it's the shadow of an evil entity. Number 8. First off, notice how none of these mo notice how all these motherfuckers in every single one of these clips is white some white motherfuckers bro i'm telling you bro they the only ones bro even in movies always want to go check some shit out want to see where the noise is coming from always want to investigate some shit i'm leaving i'm in, out in january of 2018 this emergency Xbox message was broadcasted crib. to everyone in the entire state of hawaii it. a missile may impact on land or sea within minutes this is not a drill. What's more alarming is how everyone seems to ignore the emergency directions that are instructing them to pull over. Bethany and the vehicle in front of her continue to drive, even when told by the radio to stop. Although, to be completely fair, they could have been on a one-lane road with nowhere safe to pull over. If you are driving, pull safely to the side of the road and seek shelter in a building or lay on the floor. We will announce when the threat has ended. The broadcast puts the entire island into a panic, and I feel like this live stream video summarizes everyone's reaction perfectly. Damn, where the fuck's she from? The first stage is a sort of disbelief and the need to confirm it's really happening. Oh gosh, what happened? Did you guys get that? Did you not get that? There's an emergency ballistic missile threat. The next stage. <laughs> what the fuck? Why the fuck she speak like a cartoon? Did you get that? Did you not get that? There's an emergency ballistic missile threat. The next stage is acceptance that this is real, which leads to scrambling for a plan, even in the face of total obliteration. Oh my god. What do we do? And the final Shit. stage I ain't gonna lie, bro. Oh my god. What do we do? Shorty fire, bro. And the Shorty final fire. stage is panicking at the realization that all hope is lost, that your life is about to truly end. The urge to run somewhere, anywhere, sets in even though it's clear nothing can be done. Babe, what do we do? Oh man, you see you just you just you just broke my heart with that right there, bro. You just broke my heart, bro. Come As it on, turns bro. out, this broadcast was a major mistake made by staff at a military command post. Wow. There was nothing this time, but based on these videos and countless others. I don't think we would really do as well as we would like to think in the face of an actual catastrophe. This paranormal crew's third visit to this prison did not disappoint. CVS Paranormal enters Dorchester Prison, a criminal facility in which executions have been carried out. In total, 13 executions were carried out at this prison, okay? What's executions? Like death penalty or some Suicide or some Murder or some with impaled heads displayed on the church. What? With impaled heads displayed on the church railing spikes for years as a warning against treason. What do you, what you mean heads displayed? <laughs> Bro, don't be showing me no floating heads, bruh. In previous investigations of this prison, the team has captured some truly eerie figures on camera, like this one. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, I mean, I guess I see some. As the team enters, whispering is heard on the audio. This is it. Big main entrance where down there is, um, yeah. Big main entrance where down there is, um. A second EVP captures a low growl. Prisoner was in here. Prisoner was in here. What they whispering, bruh? This is surely followed by a door closing or opening. Aw, oh, shit, it's always an Something aggressive like fucking ghost slamming shit like they like pay the rent. And scratching noises. Listen, it be quiet. Yeah, definite noises. This singing is what's really chilling. 
right away. I just had that as well. Just like the gray bean when you sound like a cherry on top. Soldier. Oh. Huh? But it's when you're not searching for ghosts that they come find you. Yo, bro, chill out, bro. Why you gotta say shit like that, bro? Trust me. The last person to be hanged on the gates of Dorchester Prison was James Seal, who was found guilty for murder in 1858. Okay. What happened? What the fuck happened? It seems Dorchester Prison is truly rife with activity, but whether it's good or evil is anyone's guess. This is one of the world's most haunted hotels. It was a naval hospital during the 40s and once housed a morgue. Damn. Some of its most infamous guests never left. Published by Kelsey Davies in January of 2022, this paranormal investigator and her mom visited the haunted hotel. This is what they found. Kelsey first hears a child's voice as she's wandering the empty hall. I came in. I just heard a little kid. Oh shit, I thought that was something right there, bro. I thought that was something right there, bro. I just heard a little The fuck is that? That shit look like a standing bear. Kid. They continue to explore and hear more unexplained noises. What the fuck was that deep ass voice? After setting up a paranormal device, it starts to go off. They use copper dousing rods to ask the spirits questions. They discover that one is named Lorraine. Dude. <laughs> Oh, a short shit. while later, Kelsey asks the young girl she's speaking with to trigger the device, and she does. Go off. <gasps> oh my god! They then enter look, a creepy hallway happy, and, bro. using a Kinect app on the phone, oh, they see a figure standing there. Later, she says she saw a man standing by the door out of the corner of her eye, one that she's seen before in the hotel. You communicate with anyone? No negative entities, please. Periphery. Oh my god, it's called periphery. There's a moon down here. I think it's the same one. And then the nearby paranormal device goes off. Is this ghost getting nearer? Here's hoping this spirit isn't stalking her. If the backstory to this video is My real, well then none the of the friends you are looking at first, here are still know, alive. The Their families shit. gave police this permission to release bad. this video like passed, in hopes bro. of solving like what happened to them. Oh, At some hell point, no. oh hell no! During Listen, driving past the final damn car ride together, they go through a lonesome old tunnel in the middle of a private country road. They don't think much of it until they come across the same tunnel again. And then a third time, they're driving in a straight line and not a circle. Yet this creepy location keeps greeting them as if they never left. It only gets worse when the engine stops working. Oh, if you think this no. video is fake, then please take a moment and tell me how they were able to make it look like their car breaks down. Just, just, just throw ahead. I don't want to say. Yeah, you know they ain't another location because they fucking steering wheels on the passenger side. Anyway, not too long after their car stops working, a song skips on the radio and this figure heads straight their way. Oh, hell no. You trip. And when the car works, they go to reverse. Oh. You can see the figure immediately appears behind them in return. I think this last part looks like it could be an amateur horror movie, to be honest, but tell me if this part is editing or not, and then we'll know the real truth. Unidentified flying devices do exist, posted to the very spooky video subreddit by Yuli Bon. This strange ghostly robot figure was captured on film in Peru. Like the some figure hologram. is blue and glowing. It illuminates the night but dims slightly as cars pass on the highway beyond. And as it appears to drift further into the distance, Redditor Planet Niles suggests that it's a costume writing. When the brightly lit trucks pass behind it, the camera can't pick it up against those, so instead it casts a shadow, which means it's a solid object and not a phantom. 
Others remark that 3 a.m. is witching hour, so who knows, it could be anything. What do you think it is? Is Shit, this a time-traveling ghost? Posted what the fuck? by Tay Harley Quinn to the children. Oh, nah, that shit is out. Is this you a saying time traveling both. ghost? Posted by Tay Harley Quinn to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The Redditor's ring camera caught something that made her look twice. The video clearly shows a car drive past. Then behind it, a transparent figure can be seen ghosting along after it. One Redditor has an explanation. Yo. Maybe the running person looks Bro, something just touched me, bruh. Something just fucking touched me, bruh. You see why I can't watch shit like this? Because I'm going to start... It, it, it starts fucking with my mental, bruh. It starts fucking with my medulla, bruh. Transparent because of the camera glitch or bad quality, he writes. He's fast, so I don't think that's a person at all. The Redditor responds that her camera is Nigga, I'm fast like that. What are you clear. talking about? She's never had a problem with it. I'm Another right, commenter, just, uh, Snorlax you. Lynn, Cops tags onto the thread saying that the truck right. would have had a glitchy I'm effect I'm too I'm had it been a camera quality I'm issue. Real. Some suggest it's a spirit on a bike. Others think it's the compression of footage quality, <laughs> J. Cole on the bike, which tends to make images look somewhat transparent if they're small and far away. What do you think is going on here? It's, it's J. Cole, time to bro. investigate. It's J. Cole. Come on. A YouTuber in Toronto called Nadell E claims to have heard scary sounds coming from the sky that many people have been calling sky trumpets. Tell me if you think these scary sounds from over the sky in Canada are real or fake. <laughs> It's realistic how the sky sounds get louder after he opens the window, but that could be editing. Some people are saying that they've heard this same sky noise while others are saying that this has to be fake and that they've heard the sound effect before, but don't say where they've heard it from. Likewise, Nadell E kind of says that this video is fake, but it might be sarcastic. Like he's saying this event is real and one day you'll see. How do you interpret this comment? Here is the sky noise again. Tell me what this is and if you've heard it anywhere before. I bet. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you okay. want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank Listen, bro, you already in my algorithm and shit, bro. I can't scroll on my YouTube page without seeing your shit. God damn, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Did I pass this? I feel like I passed, bro. Fuck is you talking about? This is the first video where I seen it all the way through. This wasn't bad, though. This wasn't bad. You see, you feel me? Good looks, bro. Good looks. I appreciate you. I feel like his voice made it worse than what it really was. But day four, though, bro. Day four down, bro. Day four down. God damn it, bro. How many more days? <sighs> Shit is fucked up, bro. That's the end of this video right here. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below what you want to see me react to next. Follow me on IG. The links is down below in the description. I'm going to see you in the next one, bro. I'm going to holla at y'all.